So my name is Dr. Rob Hollis. I'm a very cancer researcher at the Cancer Research UK Scotland Centre based here at the University of Edinburgh and I've been working on a target ovarian cancer funded project on uh, low grade cirrus ovarian cancer which is an uncommon type of ovarian cancer. So the project was in two parts. Uh, the first part was looking at um, samples from patients who were included in a clinical trial of low grade serous ovarian cancer looking at a drug called trametinib. Um, so that trial showed that trametinib was useful for low grade serous ovarian cancer uh, when it has recurred, so when the cancer has come back after initial treatment. And um, really we were, in the project, we were looking to see whether we could find um, through DNA sequencing of tumour material, whether we could find markers of patients that uh, responded well or patients that didn't respond to trametinib. Uh, so the second part of the research um, was using newly available laboratory models of low-grade serous ovarian cancer, so that's cells grown in the lab in a dish, um, and using those models to try and find potential new treatment options for low-grade serous ovarian cancer patients. Uh, so the research is uh, particularly important because low-grade serous ovarian cancer is uncommon and it's been under-researched in the past. Um, so it's important to find markers um, that tell us which patients are most likely and least likely to respond to treatments. Um, and of course, for those patients that are unlikely to respond to treatment, we want to find new treatment options for those. Um, so that kind of brings both sides of the work together. Uh, so the project start date was actually March 2020, which most people remember as um, the start of lockdown for the COVID pandemic, but actually it um, progressed very, very well and we were able to get very rapidly through, um, especially the tumor DNA sequencing work. Uh, and we were able to find um, genetic markers of patients who are most likely to respond to trametinib. Uh, the um, other part of the project where we were looking for new treatment options uh, actually, that work progressed really well also, uh, and we're able to identify a handful of new drugs that are now kind of the most promising agents um, to investigate further. The key findings from the studies were that uh, we found a group of patients characterised by specific gene mutations that are most likely to respond to trametinib. And the other key finding from using the laboratory models were a list of new drugs that are now one of the most promising agents to investigate as potential treatment strategies for lower and serous carcinoma. So the next stage for this research is to um, validate some of the new drugs that we've found, so either using more sophisticated laboratory models um, or actually, some of the drugs that we've identified are already used for either other cancer types or in other disease settings. That means that we know uh, important things like toxicity profiles and dosing schedules. So actually that means that we can fast track these agents towards um, early phase clinical studies. So I think one area of research in ovarian cancer um, that is particularly understudied are uncommon tumour types. There's been a lot of work on high-grade serous ovarian cancer and really that work has been phenomenal and has led directly to improvements in outcome. But some of the less common types have really lagged behind and our understanding of those hasn't advanced as quickly. But it's clear that we really need to um, go back and catch up with those um, so that they can benefit the same kind of improvements that high-grade serous ovarian cancer has. Yes, I'd really like to highlight that the research that we've done wouldn't be possible without, um, without that funding. Um, it's really important that we're able to kind of like pursue, uh, maintain research strategies in these kind of unmet areas uh, and ultimately we're hoping that those will lead to improvements in, in patient health.